If you hear any background noises, that's probably because Arvi refuses to sleep. Hi, this is Arvi, and you're watching Arvi Villa, where I am the crazy Indian mother. I always wanted to do a, a monthly favorite video, you know, the series that almost everybody has on their channel. But I kind of was like, you know what? I never have monthly favorites. Like my favorites pretty much last years. But then I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter if I don't like regularly have monthly favorite videos. Maybe I can have them like once in two months, once in three months, something like this. But I just wanted to give it like a start because sometimes there are products which I really, really love, which I really, really want to share with you guys. And although I do share with you guys on my vlogs, which if you haven't watched, you should really go watch. They're fun. Um, but sometimes because. The vlog has so much content in it; they kind of get lost. And I wanted to make a video where I show love to products that I really love, and uh, where I recommend you guys things that I have been loving because I feel I just I don't know this is because this hairstyle is called I have got a child. So let's begin. I kind of categorize everything. Into different segments. Uh, number one is the bath and body segment. Number two is the makeup. Number three is home and food. And number four is baby. My channel would not be complete without mentioning baby products that I love. So that is also what is in store for you. Also, at the end, I would have like special recommendations. Maybe it's a clothing line that I'm loving, a store that I absolutely love, a, a book that I absolutely love. So that is kind of like my segment five recommendations. Other recommendations. My bath and body segment is pretty much non-risky <laughs> because I don't really like take a lot of risk in what I use. But I do kind of like love to uh, use different face masks, and the one that I'm absolutely loving this month is the Beauty Formulas um, Clay Mask, which has uh, with activated charcoal. The one thing that I found in this. Uh, clay mask was that after I used it my t-zone uh, especially the area where uh, my nose is and the cheeks of my cheeks of my cheeks <laughs> this thing the word cheekbones my cheekbones they kind of just popped so places where you would naturally put a highlighter on popped so that is kind of what I loved about this clay mask talking about deep cleaning I also love this sponge face wash I don't regularly use this because it does its deep cleansing uh, facial foam. I'm pretty sure it's for regular use, but I personally feel it's a little. Uh, it is a little tiny bit drying. It's not really drying. I don't know, but when I use it, I just feel that my skin is raw. Um, not in a negative way, but in a way it's like a little too clean, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, the point is, I don't use it every single day, but I do like when I want to like clean my face and when I want to look like uh, I've done something to my face. That is kind of when I use this. It's called the Pons Pure White Deep Cleansing Facial Foam. Coming on to chargers, I love chargers from Body Shop, and I love uh, buying different kinds of. Chargers from Body Shop because it smells so amazing. The one that I'm currently using is the Body Shop British Rose, which I love. I really love the smell of this. So yeah, that's it for bath and body. That was quick. Moving on to makeup, the one makeup product I am absolutely loving and that I feel that every single girl should have in her makeup. I know pouch, makeup table, dressing table, purse. I don't know. Have it anywhere you want to have it. It's the Revlon Matte Balm. I absolutely love this. Is in the shade Sultry. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this like almost twice in my vlogs till now. I absolutely love this. Is also the shade that I'm wearing right now. I think it's so wearable for college, for office, for going out, for making videos. <laughs> it's really nice. It's it's matte, but it's not drying, which is the best thing the one thing i hate about matte lipsticks is that they dry your lips out i just have like a couple of them and i hate them for the only reason the only reason is they're really really dry no i don't have a couple of them i actually have more i have three or four of them and all of them dry my like they look lovely when you apply them but they dry your lips out this one doesn't it has a very nice minty um Touch to it. I know how to put it. Like when you put it on, you just get that feeling of putting mint on your lips, which is—I'm not even sure if that's a feeling. 
I don't know, I love this. I highly recommend you go get this. Another thing that I'm highly, highly loving this past few months is uh, the Fall Slash Butterfly Waterproof waterproof mascara from L'Oreal I think it's so nice I love the wand I love the shape of the wand I don't even know if you can see the shape of the wand sorry I'm not a beauty guru but I love the shape of the wand and when you put it on it and it and you, if you just even put kajal it looks like you put a tiny bit of eyeliner as well I have it on currently I don't know if you can make out any I, I don't know I don't know if you can see anything but that is the mascara I'm currently wearing and I really 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 love it the wand also kind of doesn't like a lot what, what happens a lot of time when you put on mascara all your lashes stick together and just looks yucky this wand doesn't does this mascara and the wand this mascara has doesn't do that so a plus for that the blush that I am currently in love with like blush is a segment which is like so hard to compete for you know like for my love because I have been loving color bar yeah I've been loving color bars um, they have this peachy shade that I have been no coral shade coral I don't even know if I should be doing such videos because I hardly remember anything I have this coral shade from color bar which I have been loving since forever that is my go-to shade whether I want to go out party whether I want to go out with friends and whatever and I hardly ever change my blush before that it was a uh, Lacme Pink Duo's blush or something like that. I don't know, but this is the blush, blush that I've been like uh, picking up for every every other things. The one that I'm currently wearing as well. This is the Maybelline Color Show blush. It's in the um, shade Creamy Cinnamon. I originally got it for a friend. Is this how you show that? Yeah, I think this is how you show. <laughs> Originally, I got this for a friend for her birthday, but then I didn't give it to her <laughs> because I fell in love with the shade. I don't even know if this is on focus. I should be wearing my specs for this. I really, really love the shade because I feel it's so nice and it's so wearable. If you're looking for a wearable uh, shade, then please buy this one. It's really nice. Okay, one thing that I absolutely love doing is putting on eye shadows but I'm not really that good at it so the, my one go-to thing to do is to get a good eyeshadow this is from Sephora that I am really really loving again can we just say this whole video is about products that I'm really really loving <coughs> this is called um, Hollywood's Calling number 82 so yeah it's a very nice pretty brown shade I'm wearing again I'm wearing it currently I've worn it to weddings I have worn it otherwise as well depends on how much pigment I want for weddings obviously it's a little more than normal for wearing it on non-wedding occasions I just like put it a little bit I love using this with a fluffy brush this one is from Vega it's called the eye brush it's the fluffy eye brush blending brush it just says eye brush right now like on it it just says eye brush man if I was a beauty vlogger I would be bad because I don't know how to do this but the point is these two together make a deadly combo because if you just want to get ready in a quick fix then just do this and do this that's it that's it that's all you need to do and you're ready let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video of me doing my makeup within 5 or within 10 minutes for a wedding like me getting ready for a wedding it won't be like as brilliant as obviously all these beauty bloggers do but you know how me normal simple Indian girl gets ready for a wedding within 5 minutes having some kind of makeup on if you would want me to do like a video on that comment that down below now moving on to the third category which is the home and food category the one thing that I really love that I've, if you've been watching my channel long enough I'm pretty sure you already know this is the Devi Nati Makhanas I love Makhanas as such and I do make them at home myself but if I want to have flavored Makhanas then Devi Nati are my go-to Makhanas I honestly haven't really tried any other companies maybe I should I have heard there are a few more but I really love the mint ones um, I have got other Divinati flavors to try which I'm going to try soon hopefully I'll have a new favorite but 
the mint ones are my current favorite uh, they taste exactly like uncle chips except these are makhana so these are comparatively healthier another food item that i really love which whenever it's in the house i finish the packet without anyone saying the only reason this packet is finished is because i got makhana so makhanas like makhanas are the top products like top namkeens that i like the second one are these which are the soya katoris i don't know if like they don't come in brands you just say i want soya katoris i think they do have like a brand name on it i don't know which one this is but i just know i just say i want soya katoris and i get these if you have never had soya katoris before uh, just go to your local namkeen wala and ask if they have any and if they do please try it it's a really yummy one home product that i really really love is this cushion from chumbak it's basically a gift from my sister to arvi but i personally really love it i'm not even sure if i should put this in home or in baby because the reason i love it is because it has so many characters on it that i can point those out and tell arvi what is what he already knows the rabbit if i ask him where is the rabbit he pointed out butterfly he's a little iffy about uh, butterfly and flower is kind of He, he knows it's somewhere around here <laughs> just doesn't know exactly which one is it so i really love kind of pointing things out to him on this cushion and asking him which is which tell me so i think that's also it's a very like it's a home product but it's educational another home product that i'm loving is a water bottle i don't even know if this is like a branded thingy it's from cello it's called it has cello and it's to write on it my mother in law got it as a gift The only reason I'm loving it is it's because it's completely one liter, and I've told every single house member to stay away from this bottle. And this is the one that I drink out of. Uh, what I love is about having a separate water bottle for yourself at home is that even if I leave it on the counter, I know how much water I have drank. So it's winters plus because of all the weed, I'm just too busy to drink water, and I'm not thirsty enough because of which I think my water content has gone down, and I am. having a lot of pimples which i absolutely hate i hate it when i have pimples like they don't bother me but then sometimes i get some around my nose which are like seeing which i don't like so those are happening so i really really want to drink more water and i highly recommend if you are want to drink more water get a separate water bottle uh, which you know how much so i know it's 1 liter so i make sure i have like two bottle full of water in the whole day so it's 2 liters of water in a day So I would recommend you get a bottle if you can and get a bottle that you like like the look of so you are more kind of encouraged to drink water one of the main reasons I love drinking from this like bottle is because I like the bottle <laughs> so that now I'm thirsty and we're going to drink some water the fourth segment is baby related and basically baby products I'm going to begin with um the baby body wash and uh, shampoo that i use i think i've never ever mentioned this before but i really like the one from chiku i just feel it's softer on the skin and it just it's, it smells nice but more than that i think it's very softer on the skin and arevir has never been irritated by this i also love the one from mother care but when arevir was really 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 young uh, <laughs> he's still very very young but when he was like just a few months old uh, when i used to put the care he would kind of cry so i guess at some point he didn't like it so although i still love the mother care shampoos they smell so nice and even after the shampoo arivi's hair smells so nice but i kind of still try and use chiku as much as possible because apart from the smell i think this one uh, suits arivi and it's just good for him these are talked about a lot these are board books which i highly recommend if you have a baby please get them arevi is get so excited whenever i get a book out and if like for some reason i haven't been able to read to him he would like i keep them accessible to him so if for some reason i haven't been able to read a book to him he would you know go over to where the books are kept and he would like kind of drag a book out or just look at me and be like like he did read this to me so i feel that having books around is a wonderful idea and if you have a baby please get these board books because they don't like they're unable to tear them so that the diapers that i like to recommend i don't have a packet right now because we just ran out are the um pampers premium pants so we use dry pants as regular pants like day to day 
but whenever we are going out and or when we are traveling i direct i prefer using premium pants because i just feel they're so much softer on the skin and if i'm out in about sometimes it's not possible to change it like of course if it's like a potty diaper i change it immediately but if it's like just like normal susu diapers then i could you know the normal range i think is 3 to 4 hours you change a diaper but sometimes when you're out and it's not possible to change the diaper sometimes it has never happened that it's been 5 hours that i've always been in the same diaper i don't think it has ever happened but i don't like taking that risk so i prefer pampers premium pants while we are out and about just because i feel they're more softer on the skin so that is one of my diaper recommendations and the number 5 are other recommendations or just things that i really feel i should tell you about uh i want to recommend a store this time which is marks and spencers i'm pretty sure all of you've heard of it if you haven't ever been to marks and spencers i would highly highly recommend that you go check marks and spencers out marks and spencers out i just feel they're like they make they have like the best clothes this top that i'm wearing currently is from marks and spencers it's so comfy they are a little bit on the pricey side so even i kind of uh, prefer shopping there during sale times and even then i feel it's a little pricey but what happens with their clothes are they are long lasting and i tend to wear them a lot so i if you watch my vlogs you know i repeat clothes like anything if i love something then i wear i can wear it every single day i really really love their quality so if you can please do check them out and if you can buy them then please go buy them the one thing that obviously i want to mention is their sizes are brilliant so if you're a girl who's on a little bigger size you would find your size in marks and spencers and their lingerie is the best they have like the best fitting bras in all of india right now i also want to start doing book recommendations which i'll add to this segment uh more so because so that encourages me to read a book because just because i kind of recommend you i don't know if that makes any sense but i have always always loved books and for some reason i not for some reasons but I just never have time to read books anymore and I really want to get back into the habit of reading. For that and that reason alone, I'm going to start this book recommendation. Uh the one that I recommend right now is the it's an old book. I've read it and it's been really really long since I've read it. But I remember being a 13 year old girl reading it because it was compulsory for my school's uh reading list to read. and i remember being that young in reading it and the me- the minute i finished the book the first thought that I, that, I, that came in my mind was when i have a daughter i'll make sure she reads this book it's a brilliant book if you're a girl then please do read if you, even if you're a boy boy but um please do read the anne frank's diary it's and maybe a lot of you have already read it if you haven't then please do read it if you have read it then why don't you just go back and read it again i have a feeling i'm going to go and download it on kindle right now and read it because i really love that book i really just love that book so and friends tell you that's my recommendation and with that we end the january favorites right here if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up also comment that down comment down below if you liked my idea of having a monthly favorites video going up on this channel and i'll see you guys soon bye